Hi friends, I hope you all are doing great. It's me, Nikki, here to share with you how my coffee bar organization and setup turned out, along with I thought it'd be fun to share some tips on organizing a home coffee bar. So let's get started. Friends, before I jump into the coffee bar, I wanted to give you a quick reminder that my new book, Beautifully Organized at Work, launches July 7th, 2021, and it's available for pre-order now on Amazon and Barnes & Noble. I hope you will go grab your copy. I will put both links in the description box below. So now let's get into that coffee bar. So friends, of course, we have to have a nice cuppa as we go through my coffee bar. So I hope you grab your cup and I got mine. So here is the finished coffee bar. So I'm just giving you kind of a quick overview, but then I want to take you inside um, of the top, the bottom. We'll refresh and look at the drawers real quick, but then I'll take you through the bottom cabinets and just kind of share with you my entire setup with my coffee bar um, as I refreshed it. And I think on Thursday, you and I worked through the top of basically clearing it out and decluttering. And so it is is finished and I want to take you through and show you the, the finished results of how it really turned out because I'm really happy with it. And friends, as far as the first tip when it comes to setting up a home coffee bar is to find that location, find that place that really is a great fit for you. It can be your kitchen, it even may be your dining room, it may be in the family room, or if you have a woman cave or a craft room, you know, in your home, think about where would be the perfect spot to create that coffee bar. And it may not be a coffee bar. That's my next tip is to think outside of the box. It may be a coffee cart. There's so many beautiful cart options out there that would be perfect to create the perfect home coffee station. Another tip, friends, is to determine what you want to be included in your coffee area. For me, I knew in the cabinet I wanted to have a variety of the coffee cups that fit the different styles of coffee from the espresso to the lattes to the cappuccinos. And so I really wanted to be able to look into my cabinet and depending on the coffee I was making, have the appropriate cup to go with that coffee. And friends, one thing you can do if you're creating a coffee station that's a little smaller, maybe you live in an apartment or a smaller home and you just want an individualized space to enjoy your coffee, you can get one of those racks that hangs your coffee cups and then hang each version of the cup. One for latte, one for cappuccino, one for espresso. It could be a really a beautiful look to kind of have your individual coffee cups um, kind of laid out, but instead of having sets, you have one of each. And so that's just kind of a pared down way of doing it. Which then moves into another tip of just distinguishing how are you going to make your coffee cup experience special for your coffee bar. It may be having mugs from every state that you have been in. It may be having um, a certain color. It may be like me having a variation for each type of coffee. You know, think about how can I bring that fun aspect to my coffee bar that really makes me happy, can be fun for guests. And another thing that I have been loving is the double wall glass coffee mugs and cups. I have been all over these. And one I love them is because I can see my coffee, which is always visually beautiful, but then it's double walled so that I can touch the glass and it doesn't burn my hand, but it also keeps my drinks warmer longer. So it really works out great. And one thing that I encourage is with your coffee bar, your tea bar, keep the best of the best, the things that you absolutely love, and then rid yourself of all the clutter because you can go into your coffee mug cabinet right now and you probably have a ton of mugs that, you know, you've kind of gained that you don't love or you, you know, you just never use. And I would pair those out and really rebuild something that you love with the cups and the glasses that you really love for your coffee, tea, or beverage bar. And so one thing that did stay was my stainless steel. And when I thought out my coffee bar, I thought it out in that way. I wanted a combination of glass coffee mugs. I wanted the double walled for the tea. These are the tea forte ones for the tea. I also wanted to have the white. So because I like at different times drinking my coffee out of different mugs and it keeps it fresh. Every day I'm not coming to the same mug. Some days my coffee is in a clear glass. Some days it's in a white. Some days it's in a metal. And so it's really fun. This is also an after after dinner teapot and it's really great because I can make 
uh, after dinner tea for Mike and I. I can put the loose leaf, leaf tea in there, put my hot water, have it ready right at dinner time, and then it's ready for a nice cuppa after we finish dinner. And we can go and watch TV while we have a nice cup. I also have mugs ready for Mike because he likes to grab a certain type of mug. And then also the, kind of the specialty for kind of Irish coffee and things like that. But again, you'll see a combination, like you'll see a combination of the espresso cups in the glass, the metal and the white. And you kind of see that going through because that's how I like to keep it fresh throughout the coffee bar. Of, and of course, I'm gonna have my tea for tea cups up there too for tea. Friends, another tip for organizing your coffee bar is to organize your things in a way that it makes you wanna grab a cup of coffee. When I come over to this coffee bar and I see the coffee beans and I see the biscotti, it makes me wanna grab a cup. And so that's why I wanted to really incorporate that into the visual part of the coffee bar instead of storing it away. And then the coffee beans, the special thing about it is I like shopping coffee beans from my local coffee houses because it's a great experience that I can give my guests when they come. So that's another thing that you can do is look at going to your local coffee houses and getting coffee coffee beans from your area to really give your guests and your family a fun experience. So friends, the next tip about your coffee bar area is it definitely can be something you create. It doesn't have to be already built into your home. This is a cabinet that I, it was a china cabinet. I took the top half to make the top cabinet. And of course the bottom half is a cabinet I bought from overstock.com. And then what I did to customize it is I had a countertop, the same countertop that's within my kitchen put on top of it so that it feels like it's a part of the kitchen. And so it's really an easy way to really have a custom look without, you know, spending a lot of money. It's a DIY approach to it. But again, it doesn't even have to be this detailed you can go get a beautiful just small cabinet that would fit into a corner of your kitchen and really just make it a beautiful coffee area another thing to think about on the countertop are putting those go-to's those things when you're preparing the coffee that you need like the syrups for me and I get these from uh, Amazon I've used these for so many years now and they're the best to me and they have some amazing flavors and you can switch them up with the season. And so definitely I keep three out if I don't wanna overcrowd and three is just perfect here on the coffee bar. A tip that I do wanna share with you that uh, uh, one of my friends out there had asked me was about my coffee maker. I have the Nespresso maker and it's in that chrome and I use the Indust Stainless Steel Cleaner to keep it clean. She was wondering how I kept the fingerprints off hers. She had one also, so this is how I do it. It works great. And I love my Nespresso. It really makes a great cup of coffee easily, quickly. And the thing about it, it doesn't take up a lot of space. So I love that about it. I also have this beautiful tray that I got from Tuesday morning to corral those kind of accessories that I need for making my coffee, the coffee grinder and also the coffee frother. And so those are really nice to be able to corral them to the side, but they're easy to get to. And it makes it easy when I want to make a nice cappuccino or if I want to grind some coffee beans to put in the Nespresso machine with my attachment to do so or to make some pour over coffee everything is readily available and it's easy to get to and friends your countertop in your coffee bar is really prime real estate so you want it to feel very inviting welcoming and very just easy to make that cup of coffee now my drawers is where I keep all of kind of my coffee and my teas and the kind of accessories to go along with that very convenient and I did a video taking you through the organization of this and I'll link that video below but one thing you can do if you don't have drawer space is think about kind of how can you display your coffee to make it easy to get to and beautiful it may be if you drink a certain Nespresso pod maybe the purple and you want to coordinate your purple cups with the purple pods and just really make it a thing that's something that you can do just think of how can I put it my twist on it to really make it beautiful one thing that I did here is I got custom napkins it says Nikki's coffee bar and it's really just a fun twist that I wanted to put on my coffee bar I also like to incorporate beautiful spoons that are just for the coffee bar area and one thing that I think is a must for every coffee bar are stirrers because those those really are great. I use them every day just when I'm having to grab that quick cuppa and get to that call or whatever it is. it is. Instead of messing up a spoon, I'll grab one of these. So it's really a great thing to add to your coffee bar. And friends, another tip is wine bars. Like when you're searching for the perfect cabinet or bar, think about a wine cabinet because they have those slots for the wine bottles and they're perfect for coffee cups. Now in the cabinets below, this is kind of where I have one basket here, which I use for those random coffee mugs that Mike and I love to use. These may be those his and her mugs are those ones that have the special quotes on it that I like. I have a special place right here for those on those days that I want to grab them. I need a little bit of morning motivation. I'll come right to this section here. So again, another tip is just to have a place for all of those things that really make your coffee experience every day. And then I have the travel mugs. These are for when I want to grab coffee on the go or Mike and I having um, our Saturday outings. I'll grab and load us up with some coffee and we'll hit the road. And so that's what that's for. I did recently get some um, coffee 
tea towels so I have them here tucked away they have a home and then I have canisters for my surplus items such as sugars um, also the honey packets and for the you know uh, Splenda and things like that that we don't use but guests use I also have a basket for grounded coffee tea bags again all of those uh, surplus accessories and things that we use I have a basket for my um, tea cups that are on the go and I got these from Tea Forte. I love them. I'll definitely link them below if you're interested. Great if you're taking that loose leaf tea on the go. Great to have at the office also. And friends, before I keep going, if you're not subscribed to my channel, I would love to have you as a part of the At Home with Nikki family. Please click that subscribe button along with the bell so that you receive notifications every time I post a video. And if you're enjoying this video, I would definitely love for you to share it with your friends, your family, co-workers along with clicking that like button because that lets me know the type of content you're wanting me to share with you so now that i have shared with you all of my coffee bar i think i'm about ready for another cup of coffee it really is just so good to have this refreshed i really feel so excited about my space you all know this is a space that i've had in my home for i've really had a coffee bar ever since i've moved into home but this is an upgrade from the very first small little brown coffee cabinet that i had but again it's about creating that wonderful little corner for you to really have those special moments so my challenge to my coffee tea loving friends this week is to assess your coffee area and see what you can do to give it a refresh or revamp it to really be that place to give you joy for that wonderful cup of coffee or tea every day. Friends, definitely don't forget to go pick up a copy of my new book, which launches July 7th. It's available for pre-order. I will link it down below, beautifully organized at work. Have a beautiful day, my friends. I will see you at the next video. And this is Nikki saying goodbye.